Oh my shit, look at it. It's after Christmas. <laughs> the day after Christmas. Yep. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Ray, Ace Attorney. Blind. Oh my. Couldn't be blind for this. <laughs> Cameron, what do you remember for the last time? Because it's been three days since we last played this game. Mm. I don't actually remember anything. Oh shit, really? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember. Do you need a refresher? All of it. Okay, well, we did our investigation. Uh, Edgeworth finally accepted us as our as our defense attorney mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, there was a thing with an earthquake. Lottis apparently has a photograph that is like decisive evidence. And uh, she's going to now be a witness. The DL6 incident. The DL6 right? incident came up from uh, Grossberg. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. We got her camera and evidence. We have an article about some like Loch Ness monster called Gordy. We have a picture of Misty Fay. Uh, the the far away photo, which she said that she was gonna have an enhanced version of it shown in court. Mm -hmm. We have the autopsy, and of course we have our our badge. <laughs> we can't go anywhere without it. Um, All right. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Karma. That's right, Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40-year career. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! Well, that's what my chat calls me. <laughs> Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. Like, prostitute. No, my God. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. <laughs> He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? <laughs> Wait, when did Edgeworth forge evidence? He's- uh, that's what he was known for throughout his entire career was forging evidence to make sure that he got a guilty verdict. No, he never did that against us. Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of ten. Uh, so, was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Yeah, what an asshole! <laughs> oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Did the number go up? <laughs> like I said, he's a god among pr prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help calling- oh, like, Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. Uh, what? I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. Oh, uh, You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. Oh, uh, yeah, she's been working at a fucking law office instead of doing her spiritual training. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't found any waterfalls. Yeah. Don't go chase My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. But quick, we gotta find this bitch a waterfall! <laughs> I'm really sorry. Maybe if there was a waterfall in the office, then... Yeah, we have one installed for it just underneath. I'll, I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. Okay, I'm making sure. Obvious. Okay, I want to make sure that the audio wasn't doubling for the background, or else you would not hear shit. <laughs> oh, why does that dude look like he's about to be on his deathbed? <laughs> Motherfucker look like a vampire. <laughs> also, the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. That guy, he's got a really deep voice. I don't know how deep your voice can get, but... The defense is ready, your honor. Um, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? I mean, I'll, I'll try and make it deeper than the voice I gave the judge, but I don't know if yeah. it's gonna work. Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here and I not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if there's any differentiation between those two. He even got the judge scared. Here, just give him whatever voice. I'm, when he says objection, I'll have you listen to it because it's fucking deep. <laughs> He's gonna be like, Objection! <laughs> 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 Very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Oh, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The, pro the prosecution may call its first witness. 
What's wrong with this guy? Is he is he dead or something? Yeah, he came out of a fucking crypt. <laughs> How am I supposed to fight against this? Yeah, someone that's been alive for thousands of years. <laughs> I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. How you doing, pal? <laughs> Describe the incident now. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Or, uh, pl please take a look at the map. Look at this map. I don't even remember what voice- I'm doing so many voices right now, I don't even remember what voice I gave to Gumshoe. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> murder happened around- There you go, that's his voice. Uh, I forgot to- I accidentally just hit A, <laughs> it happened somewhere over here. <laughs> yeah, around this map, he like draws a big circle, like, somewhere in the, this general area was the murder scene. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's got like a laser pointer, he's like, he's like, over here somewhere. No, no, you know in like school where they have like the, the stick with the little hand that points, he has one of those. Yeah. yeah and, and then, and then the fucking Karma's like, where did you get that from? <laughs> I need one of those for the office. <laughs> I got it from the detention center, sir. <laughs> What voice did I give to him? <laughs> it, it, it was like a Brooklyn accent. That's what, uh... What, what that's not what I'm getting. I'm you like... just watched the... I showed him the anime. I showed him the, uh... The first and second case. Yeah, and he sounds kind of silly. Yeah. He, he is pretty silly. I, there, was we... a, there was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Two? Make that two. Two? <laughs> And the boat started to move. <laughs> it went into the other boat. <laughs> it boarded. It. it crashed into the other boat. <laughs> there was a there was a murder scene. That's how he died. Yeah. <laughs> From a boat accident. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, boating's scary. Yeah, he just happened to fall on a bullet. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it went towards the boat, Randall shop. Now I'm giving him like a country accent for no reason. Hmm. Overhead map added. I thought that was it's like currently raining outside. You I, hear it? Yeah, I thought that said overheard map. I was like, what are they <laughs> over here? They overheard all this drama. <laughs> Testify to the court about the arrest now. Well, wait, uh, Mr. Von Karma. Yes. Actually, uh, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> Objection. Well, what? There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your rule. Damn. Oh yeah, y yes, of course. You're you're quite right. No, he's not. <laughs> All right, Gumshoe, what do you got to say, buddy? I need like listen again, cause like my my brain is trying to wrap myself. I'm not very good at switching from voice to voice to voice to voice. And it's so okay. I, I like especially when they're all supposed to be like different deep voices. I, I don't know what I, <laughs> so like like my mental is blocked on what voice I'm supposed to give Gumshoe. The taste the moment. <laughs> uh, a man a man called into the station around thirty minutes after midnight. There you go. There he is. <laughs> we headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgington. He was edging. <laughs> he was edging like no one's ever seen before. <laughs> now I didn't suspect him of anything at all. But the next morning, the body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgington. So wait, he was there and they're like, oh, I guess hmm. oh, you're free to go. And then they were I like, see, very later. well. Begin your cross examination, attorney. Now. Damn, I'll fucking tell you what to do. Blink, blink. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I'm sorry, I'm realizing during this case you're gonna have a lot of people to fucking voice. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, a man called around the, into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. You you received a call from a man? There you go. But you said that there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Oh, oh my god. Did you hear it? Yeah, he's like, it's like, objection. Yeah, he's got a fucking deep ass voice. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people. Obviously. Well, different people? There were two witnesses. <laughs> Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. What happened next, detective? I'm trying to give him like a like a 
old, like scary kind of yeah. kind of voice. Give me what a vampire would sound like. <laughs> this is, well, this is what I do yeah. imagine a vampire would sound like. <laughs> he headed to, we headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Very well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is, get there quick. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Objection. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. What? <laughs> That's not a department secret. Oh yeah, yeah, yes sir. Sorry sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. Oh. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for detective daydreaming. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes sir. Poor Gumshoe is getting roasted. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him, then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. <laughs> Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Damn! Facts only, Detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Man, he got his, his share of objections. I was, now, I was like, everyone's like, just letting him run over this court. Well, he's been in here for fucking 40 years. He's decrepit. <laughs> yeah. He's also a big shot. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all. Why didn't you think he was so was suspicious? Uh, you should know. We have a deep, justing relationship with the prosecutors. Damn! Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppy cock. <gasps> he said poppy. <laughs> I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Damn. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Yeah, he's he's realizing he's like he's like I just downgraded from like from like tonkatsu ramen to now to like bargain ramen to now to <laughs> clearance uh, cl ramen clear, clearance ramen and yeah. then like any more and he's going to be denounced to just Garbage. like <laughs> yeah just uh, like ramen found in, in in the back of like a, a ramen store oh, like my, like my in a dumpster they throw away yeah. oh my god continue now but the next morning a body was found at the lake did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart, fatally, but there was two shots. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bones, so its shape is well preserved. Huh, okay, so just one of the organs? Very well. The court accepts this bullet into evidence. Found on the victim's body, fire from a two, uh, a point, 22. yeah, point twenty-two caliber pistol. No, it's just, it's just that's just how they do the calibers. Oh, it, really? It, it, that's a twenty-two caliber. Pistol. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, a point twenty-two caliber pistol. The bullet would be fucking tiny. Gotcha. Okay. I don't even think that exists, but uh, yeah, that's I don't I don't know why they do it that way. Uh, it's probably just the way that they do guns. But then, so we had to arrest Mr. Edward. Why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? A pistol. A pistol? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right, uh, so, sorry, sorry, Your Honor. The murder weapon we found in the boat was decisive evidence. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Ugh, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There are fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> right, look at him across the way, I'm like, you fucking picked up the gun. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, I mean, we don't see Edgeworth anywhere. He He's a lawyer, too. I feel like we could just have him, like, like c come on and... Cause like he has like a right to defend himself partially, right? Yeah, but I guess since he's a prosecutor, you know. I guess so, but I mean he is also a lawyer. Yeah. So, like, I feel like you know some some help from him on all of this, you know, three minds would be greater than one. Yeah. 
We need all the help we can get in defeating uh, this this decrepit Dracula that we're going up against. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess since... Are you thinking because Maya was in the second case, that, like, right next to us? But she was only at the end because we got convicted instead. Yeah. I don't, they always take the defendant, whoever's were, who's being charged for murder, and always put them out of the room. Or They're supposed to be in the same room listening, but... Yeah. They just don't show it on the screen. I mean, you saw it in the anime where they sit. Yeah. Order, order. So when Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the... Oh. Yeah, so they were found. Uh, y yes, your honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. I'm holding it up to you so that you can give a guilty verdict. <laughs> Do it now. Do it. <laughs> uh, accepted into evidence. Murder weapon... 22 caliber, fired three, three times. times, bears prints of Edward's right hand. Huh. Ah, so someone could have quite easily shot it before and then killed, because it said one shot was through his heart. Mm -hmm. So it could have very easily been one shot that killed the other, the other lawyer. I forget mm. what his name is. Yeah, I he, forgot. He, I mean, he's useless because he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> but um, it, it could have been one shot fired that hit that hit him, killed him, and then maybe Edgeworth did shoot it twice uh, later because like, he might have saw like Gordy. <laughs> he should have shooting Nessie. Should have shooting shooting God Gordy. Damn it. I don't know something something like that. Uh, well, uh, like because like we saw that scene where like Edgeworth is like looking at the gun like yeah. this. That doesn't mean that he shot it. That means that he held it. He, yeah. maybe, maybe he went out on the boat and uh, and he just found the gun. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, what the fuck? He was like, what is this? And then like he got caught up in all of this stuff. Maybe. That's that's my that's my opinion. That's of your it. theory, your game theory. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the most logical conclusion, considering it says it was fired three times and then it happens to have his his prints on it. Um, uh, because, like, obviously, he says he didn't do it. I believe him because, uh, I don't know. His cock is big. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyways. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Uh, yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Uh, yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick! I have to, I, I have to voice so many freaking people. <laughs> I'm sorry! Gumshoe doesn't peer after this. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Shocking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, can you shoot him? <laughs> I wish I could, Maya. <laughs> Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, uh, me? me? Wait, bro, he wasn't- they uh, weren't uh, even asking you! <laughs> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Huh. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was, without a doubt, fired from this pistol. This pistol, which, as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. See, look, he looks fucking dead there. Yeah. <coughs> oh. He's pasty. He doesn't know how to sun that much. <coughs> Sorry, these voices are really hurting. Do you me. want some water? Yeah, give, give me some Here. water real quick. Order, order. <laughs> this is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Oh, okay. Well, Judge. I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. A uh, bitch? <laughs> However. You wish to hear the wind speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess. Wait, we're getting a recess already? Which will last ten minutes. Judge. Uh, 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 yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess. Now! But, but, wait, ah. Uh... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man. Oh, uh, uh, yes. 
Ahem, this court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Are we... Are we in the lobby? Defendant lobby number two. Alright. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon? No, uh, huh. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The one who's gonna be- wait. The one who- wait. The- <laughs> The only one who could have shot that man in the- Was the person in the photo. True. <laughs> was that you on the boat? Yes, it was me. What?! <laughs> But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I... I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I gonna convince anyone of that? <laughs> That was one of my theories. Was that he did? Was that uh, the he dude just killed like, himself? <laughs> but I was like, I was like, I don't know why he would do that. Yeah. Say Maya. Huh? What? What? Any progress with Mia? No. Oh. Sorry, it's no good. I need a waterfall. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I? No. Dude? Of course. If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here. Yeah, you're no, useless. No, I don't call her useless! That's so mean! You're like, yeah, I need one less character to voice. <laughs> no, of course not. I, I, I need you here. I, I can see you're always trying to help out. And if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. In fact, that made me feel worse. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about trials or defense. I'm only an offensive player. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. I might as well kill myself <laughs> nah. like, that, like that lawyer. <laughs> you skipped my dialogue. <laughs> I mean, it, it. I've just been lucky lately, but I never know when my luck is gonna run out. Really? Whoa! Right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. <laughs> it's bad for my heart. Uh oh. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> Did you see him like I've never seen his sprite just <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lada Hart take the stand? Oh, oh shit. I can't tell what it is, but her her face looks like a frog. <laughs> Lada Hart, you are a research student at the university. <laughs> <laughs> that I am! Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? Y'all need to learn some manners! Understand? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Uh, very well. Your testimony, please. Yeah, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> I was, it was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. I was in my car. I heard this bang come from the lake. When I went out to look out the window, I saw two jets in the boat. Then, there was one another bang. And there, there wasn't not... There wasn't nary a thing on that lake but that boat. Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is that photo, accepted as evidence. But oh, well, this is a surprise. This looks like the very moment of the murder. <laughs> order, I will remove people from this courtroom if I do not have order immediately. As the witness testified, she looked at the lake when she heard the shot. There were no other boats on the lake. So the man in the boat with the victim must have been the one who had shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Miles Edgeworth. Order, order, order! I will have order. Well, Judge, 
The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. Thanks, Judge. Very well. This court finds the defendant. <laughs> wait, wait, Your Honor. I haven't cross-examined the witness yet. A cross-examination? Yeah, my job. We have photographic proof. What question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words, and they all read guilty. You lose. Or, do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Oh, oh the music. <laughs> Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. And then I will have you held in contempt of court. Ah, uh, Nick! Uh, what, the, what, the, what the fuck is contempt? Oh, don't worry, I learned this from SVU, I got this. Contempt of court, you know. I, I guess I understand. It means you're, you're content in the court. Yeah, I'm very content right now in the court. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? You really think there was a contradiction with the facts in your testimony? Uh, there, if we say no, Miles goes to jail immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I think there was. Uh, I think I noticed one little thing. <sighs> it's okay. Sorry, I haven't <laughs> stood under any waterfalls, so I'm very tired. <laughs> well, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I understand. I will ex cross-examine the witness. Tisk tisk tisk. Very well. I pray for your sake, this isn't a waste of time. So wait, does that mean we can't press her on things? I don't care, I'm gonna press her anyways. It was Christmas Eve, just after midnight, I reckon. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. Huh? Well, yeah, well, like, yeah. Yeah, the, the, court, the court record shows it was between, like, 11 and... Oh, yeah. no, no, no. It says sometimes the 24th and the 25th because it was. They don't know when the shot was fired. Yeah. I know you want to find contradictions, but really. <laughs> I hope your next contradiction is a little more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. I was in my car. I don't think you need to press on this. <laughs> I heard this bang come from the lake. Okay, bang, come up from the lake. When I look out the window, I saw two jets and a boat. And then there was another bang. Okay, it could be like this one or this one. Yeah, what else was her testimony say? I forgot. There wasn't... Nary a thing on that lake, but that boat. There's nothing to press on there. Okay. There wasn't any contradictions in there? Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. Yeah, me too, bitch. <laughs> Plane is really taking this hard. I mean, you can still press her on, them, on things. Maybe there'll be something else that gets added. So you weren't looking at the lake at the time? No? I looked there after that noise. Damn. She said that already. I asked you to find contradictions, not to leisurely chat with the witness. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> Go back to your crypt, old man. Looked out the window, I saw two jets sitting in a boat. I don't care about you, Von Karma. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. Clear enough for you? Uh-oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Huh? Yeah, well, of course. The witness has testified that she saw them. There's also a photo. You'd best look elsewhere for your precious contradictions. And you better look somewhere else to get some fucking so <laughs> And then there was another bang. Like, bang! Like the energy drink. <laughs> Weren't you watching the very moment that the shot ran out? Well, yeah, sure. She's very less talkative, I'm realizing. You're asking meaningless questions. Meaningless. Contradictions, Mr. Wright. Not meaningless babble. One camera, I think I hate you. <laughs> He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? There wasn't a darn thing on that lake but that boat. 
Are you sure about that? Yeah, sure as a country gal can be. Yeah, I bet objection. Oh, not yet. That sounds pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Objection. How did you, how did you know? <laughs> Mr. Wright, the witness has answered the question in full. <sighs> no need for further questions. Objection sustained. You can't sustain your own objection. Oh, oh that's what I'm... Sustained. Oh, yeah, yes, of course. Oh, great. What am I supposed to do now? That there aren't any contradictions in here. Sorry, Nick. If only my sister were here. I really taking this hard. All right. I think I know the right answer, but I need you to come up with it yourself. <laughs> I think it's at this point. It's either this one or this one. Okay. But look over all your evidence because it actually has been a little bit since we've last. Yeah, match the overhead map. Yeah, she would have saw everything. From where it took place, yeah. Yeah, she is a good place for, uh, like, seeing the whole lake, actually. Yeah. So, it makes, it makes sense, so it shouldn't be there. There couldn't have just been only... Only a boat out there, because there's... There's... There's Gordy. <laughs> Did you want to press her with that? No. My, my opinion is one bullet shot, so then there was another bang. Or it's this one that was fired three times. I can logically see either one of these. I think the more simple one is this one. Because if they were standing this close, how the fuck would they have missed the first shot? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? I'm, I'm actually trying to remember the right. Oh, you did it fucking wrong. <laughs> Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence. It, it does? I don't see anything contradictory. Uh-huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. <laughs> how did, okay, how does that make sense, I'm though? trying to remember. I'm sorry. Whoops, that didn't go so well. Another bang. Was it not this point? Okay, let me... Let me think. There wasn't a nary a thing on that lake but that boat. Yeah. Can I, can I just hover over something? It's not the right answer, but I want you just to read over it, okay? Gents in a boat. I'm I'm, I'm really. You struggling. want me to try? <sighs> oh, okay. It it this. I'm, I'm probably getting ahead of ahead of the <laughs> I curve. I think you're getting this, ahead. This is some bullshit. This is literally a direct contradiction. It says that uh, there's two shots fired. This is fired three times. There's only one bullet like that actually hit the dude. Why does bang come up from the lake? So to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected faces the lake. Now what did she say that she was there to do? Yeah, capture the like 
shooting stars or whatever? Yeah. So what the fuck does that have to do anything? Why would it be facing the lake if she's taking pictures of the sky? I-I-I-I-I don't understand. Here, do you want me to try? <laughs> no, because you know okay. you know it, so I, I, I'd, rather, I'd rather fail the trial than, than okay, have I'm you do sorry. it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's true. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents. Yeah, that's true. Then there was another bang. Did you present the gun at this point? No. I, I don't I don't understand. It's, it's okay. Just just take deep breaths. I'm, I'm about to just fucking fail at this trial just because I want all my shit back. <laughs> so sorry. This is this is so stupid. Just after midnight. In the car. I heard this bang come from the lake. supposed to object to? I think it's the last statement, hun. This is so dumb. This this game sucks dick. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh. What is the point of a game that is not straightforward? I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to play anymore. Sorry. This shit is stupid. There's, there, there's nothing obvious there. Okay, witness testimony, witness account, cross-examination. Choose, I think there was. Press on every statement except the first one. Press, for, press... Choose press further every time as well, and then choose wrong. What? I don't... Yeah, that's what it fucking says! <laughs> so yeah, we're supposed to be like in this part. Press on every statement except the, except the first one. Fuck, we were supposed to figure that out! <laughs> Wait, I think I just hit press on the oh. on the first one. Reload that shit. I'm so sorry. 
Okay, if, if that's legitimately what it is, then that is some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Can you guys tell us if you guys had trouble with this fucking case? <laughs> so don't press the first statement. Press the first statement except the first one. Choose press further every time as well. Oh, wait. No, I... So... So... Oh, I, I, I get it. No, I, I, I could have I could have left it in the last one because I didn't press on the first one. Oh, uh, it's fine. We'll find. I'll Cause, find a way to cut it, this. It, down. Okay, it, it made sense for um the time frame. Uh, the time frame makes sense. The bangs technically like make sense mm. if you want to say that. Yeah. So. There's this first statement here. So just here. don't this, press this. This makes sense. This is press everything except the first one. Choose press further every time as well. So just fucking spam click fucking A. And then Can you're you supposed to pick wrong after that? Yeah. I guess. Whatever the fuck choose wrong means, we have no fucking idea. So you were looking like the entire time? No, I heard- I looked after I heard that noise. You said that already. I asked you to find contradiction on logic, but the wind is. When I looked out the window, I saw. <sighs> Could you clearly see the two? It men? didn't work the first time because you told me, "Oh, you don't need to press on the the car thing." Well, I didn't think the <laughs> sentence was. I was in my car. Was important. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut this video down a lot. Uh oh. Wait a second. I wasn't asking about the photo. I was asking you what you saw! Yeah, of course I will- yeah. And this guy's being a dickhead, he's sandbagging. Like, I just sandbagged this entire thing. <laughs> Apparently. I was gonna press on everything. Damn. So if I did- Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. So what end? There wasn't- Yep, yeah, press it. Pretty sure? sure? About the sure. Yeah, that sounds, sounds pretty, pretty sure. sure. How come you're so short? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned the whole lake? It almost sounds like she was more interested in something under the boat. Miss Hart, you... And then he's like, I'm drunk! <laughs> Mr. Bright, the witness has answered the question in full. Him. No need to press further questions. I was saying, that's what I was supposed to say. So sorry. Oh, great. Enough. I think we've heard all we need to hear, Mr. Wright. It seems you're unable to find a contradiction in the testimony worth noting. But, Your Honor... I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I didn't know! Okay, that's... I... I'm so sorry! You know what? You know what? That makes me at least a little bit happier. Because... So because I said... There's no way that I haven't found a contradiction in here, right? I'm gonna have to edit this video down so fucking much after this. <laughs> you keep your promise. Mr. Wright, I'm afraid that I won't have to penalize any further outbursts by holding you in contempt of court. And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Fuck. Understood? Uh huh, uh. Nick! <laughs> Why is testimony is fishy, Nick? Real fishy! Just like those fish that were in the lake! <laughs> I know what you mean, but. If I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we've covered the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Excuse me? Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeworth, please take the stand. Huh? Uh, who was that? It was me. Maya? Is, is something wrong? Do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> no, I do not. What a heart! Your testimony stinks! You fucking suck! <laughs> it's unclear whether you were actually looking at the lake! It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Edward. Tell us the truth! This is a matter of life or death! <gasps> Lada! Did you really clearly see Mr. Edward that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? Damn, Maya, get the- You will stand down. The court does not acknowledge the defense's outburst. Answer me, Lada. What is the big deal? Treat me like some kind of criminal. I saw him, I swear. I saw Edgeworth. Enough, Judge. Declare the defense in contempt of court. 
Uh, yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. What? Guard, escort Mr. Wright out of the court. But I didn't say anything! He is in contempt of court and must leave. No! 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 <laughs> I was the one who made the outbreaks, Your Honor. Nick is innocent. Huh. What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You're supposed to press wrong here, I guess. <laughs> wrong! What? Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She says she clearly saw Mr. Edgeworth. That is not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have the right to cross-examine her again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting fucking railroaded. <laughs> you can't get our train run through right now. Order, 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 order. You're in contempt of court. It's too late for wild claims. Judge, sustain my objection. Oh. I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. What? What? Miss Lotta Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does have a right to cr uh, Yeah, I thought it said cross recross examine. Yeah. To cross examine her again. But but he is in contempt of court. No, I am! If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me! Hmm. Very well. My affair. You will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick! I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck! Thanks, girl. Maya! I care not for this melodrama. Listen well, Mr. Wright. I do not tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. I better find a contradiction in here or else. Mr. Wright, begin your cross examination. Alright, let's see if I let's see if I'm smart enough to find a fucking contradiction in this one, or if I have to press all of it and just You shouldn't be able to. This one should have a clear contradiction. I saw a clear stay. A man on the boat was Mr. Edgeworth. Well, what about the other man? You cannot expect to be allowed to blithely ignore your promise, Mr. Wright. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness's testimony. Well, find it. If you can. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, so I guess we get penalized for pressing, pressing. now. Yeah. That's the whole point of what we did before. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I guess. Damn. That's it? Uh-oh, I don't know if I can find anything with that. But I can't squander Maya's efforts either. So go to the last one. Here's, yeah. Wait, that's the entire testament? Okay. Well, the only thing that you can do is present. I'm guessing it has to be this lake photo, because you can't see... She says clear as day, and that's probably going to lead into the... Yeah. The whole point with the yeah the enhanced I have an photo. enhanced version. I got enhanced version. And then they're gonna like... and then they're gonna be like, oh, that's new evidence. We gotta like re-examine this. Yeah. And whatnot. That's that's my that's my thoughts on this. Yeah. <laughs> got you. Got you, Miss Hart. Finally. W what? You got what? Look at this photograph. <laughs> the photo I took. The very same. This. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite uh, clearly visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So? So? This picture was taken with professional high quality film, correct? Yet, even if... Yet, even it could not capture the faces of the men in this boat. Yet, you claim to have saw Mr. Edgeworth. How? What? What? <laughs> Mr. Wright has a point. That's why I told her not to say that in her testimony, please. But yet, now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How can you possibly see Mr. Edgeworth? Explain yourself. Miss Hart. What? Could you see the defendant that night? Uh, of course. I said I could. I said I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify to us to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. How Edgeworth was seen. 
You're right. Ow, it was cold at night. The fog was thick as grits. Uh, objection. <laughs> objection. Grits are not that thick. <laughs> <laughs> so once I finished setting up my camera, I got back in my car. That matches her previous testimony. Okay, she, yeah. She finished setting it up and she was in her car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Okay, that's just a new piece of... Yeah. When I heard that noise out of the lake, I looked at my, I looked with my binoculars. She never said she got out of her car, right? She she just mentioned she was in her car when the shots rang out. Yeah. She looked towards the lake. Yeah, she looked out the window. So she had binoculars. Yeah. Okay. See? No problem. Objection. There's a problem here. <laughs> hmm. You used binoculars? Very well. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. This one better be good. You want to say it? Honestly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. I, I want to save mainly for the point of Just in I, I, I want to test again if I can press still. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because I feel like it'll be. I feel like it's a very important point if I can press these. If I can't. Press I think the point, the last one, they were like, "Oh, you see a contradiction, you're going to present evidence. You're not going to push them on something that you clearly see a contradiction." And I think that's the, what they were going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it was cold that night, and the mist was thick as great. Yeah, I mean, you can see that in the photo. Yeah, you can see it's mist. So. I don't see misty? It. As in Misty Fay? <laughs> <laughs> Present! <laughs> Alright. It's cold and musty. Should I just press yeah, this? Yeah, just go ahead and press. So, how could you see Mr. Edgeworth? Now, just hold your horses for a second. You hasty Yankee types never find a gal where I'm from. Defense attorneys all have trouble with that as it is. Oh no one loves me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so I can press, yeah. which is good. So once I was finished setting up my camera, I got back in my car. Your camera? Yeah, it was in automatic. The issue we are concerned with here is Miss Hart seeing Mr. Edgeworth. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> the camera has nothing to do with this at all. Objection sustained. He's not letting her answer any of my questions. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Binoculars? Yeah, binoculars! Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? Well, yeah. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars I was just for that? I was, I was just thinking that. I was like, I was like, huh. Doesn't make sense for someone to use binoculars for, uh, for shooting stars. But I got doubts about your camera too. Was it really to take pictures of the meteor shower? Oh, this might be the point that you were making that is yeah. angled towards the lake. I thought that's what they were going with it in the first one because when you press her in the last statement she made, she said it was said, uh, bleh. Mr. Wright said like, huh? Like, I wonder why it was. It was someone that was interested in the meteor shower that was sure facing the lake or some shit like that. Yeah. The camera is irrelevant to this case. You're irrelevant to this case. I can't say that for certain. You, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, is the camera really relevant to this case? Yeah, you fucking press yes. If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But know this, if you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Wright, do you wish to press further by the camera? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. This is make or break it. The camera is of utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this entire taste. Therefore, I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little too overboard there. <laughs> I sound like professional. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. The camera was set up to fake pictures of the meteor shower. Okay, I feel like uh, I feel like that's just straight up... <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I, that's I'm, I'm, be... tempt I'm tempted to just... You did it! <laughs> yeah. You were photographing shooting stars. That's a lie! Says who? I saw the camera that you had set up yesterday. It was pointing directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the stars, Miss Hart. Alright, 20 bucks says she's gonna go, uh, and look up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't bet 20 bucks. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? I'm driving a Honda Civic, Your Honor. <laughs> I am crashing into the court building. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Edgeworth in the, in the anime. <laughs> the witness was not at the lake to photograph fooding stars, Your Honor. You said photograph sh fooding stars. <laughs> God damn it. She was out there doing the thing. 
<laughs> Bling! I'm pouting. <laughs> <laughs> well then, what exactly was she photographing? Show evidence. Okay, that is a good point. What was she photographing? Bitch. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, it could have been photographing... I think she was photographing Gordy. Your Honor, take a look at this. This is what Miss Hart was trying to photograph at the lake. Miss Hart, this is what you heard when... This is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Uh, yep. Who the fuck is Gordy? <laughs> <laughs> we need to we need to uh, ex examine this witness immediately. <laughs> ah, the sighting at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart, I, I never heard no lake monster. You got proof or something? Let's see you prove that I was down at the lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Oh yeah, you can't read the article anymore. It said that there was a loud bang and then Gordy appeared. That's what I was thinking. I, w I wonder if... I wonder if the point is Lada's camera, because it's set to automatically take a picture when a loud noise is detected mm -hmm. and, facing, and facing the lake. Yeah. And since a loud noise was detected the last time, that's like the whole point. So I guess we, we have proof. I have it. I have proof. Hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it. And no joking around this time, Yeah, please. I saw the last three t three fails that you had. <laughs> what is proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy the lake monster? Look at this camera! Okay, so clearly, since we can't see the stuff here, I don't think it's this one. Yeah. Because, like, even though the article did say that, I don't think that's the, the point. Because yeah, because it's supposed to be like, how do I, like, what's the proof that I was trying to photograph Gordy? Yeah, and, and Wright was saying, like, the camera is the key to this case, so I yeah. feel like that the, this is the point. The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Thus, this photograph here was taken when a gunshot fired at the lake. And here, in this article about Gordy, according to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, are you trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had your camera set to respond to loud noises. Order, order. I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Miss Miss Hart, you were camping there to try to take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? Yeah. Not bad. Are all y'all lawyers that smart? So smart, boy. I was down there trying to take photographs of Gordy, you got me. So what? Huh? That doesn't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. We well, just used several precious minutes of our time to prove. Oops. It's nothing more than that witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. H hey But as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what does that have to... Well, what, what could it have been? been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise your testimony. Right, fine, I'll testify. I won't change nothing, though. Something will change, I has to. And I'm going to spot it! <laughs> what is your testimony? <laughs> Actually, I'm not researching a student at university. Uh, is she for the paper or something? I'm an investigative photographer. Imagine what a scoop it would have been to get a mon picture of the monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. Okay, so think about it. So she says she's an investigative photographer. Yeah, so she probably just like takes photos of really cool things. Not cool things, but like some like event and like sells it to someone to make a like a what an article about. Yeah. Okay. So, it's like, that's, that's it's like those people that are like at the scene of like like accidents or like car accidents, and they take pictures so they yeah. can publish it to like news. Yeah, like the people that uh, like uh, what's 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 the one in SVU, the Ledger or whatever. Yeah, the Ledger. That's their that's theirs. Yeah, is the Ledger a real thing? 
I think so. I think that name is very familiar. It's probably just like common in New York. Yeah. I'll probably... ask my mom since she's up from there and everything. Yeah. All right. I, I kind of liked going through like the witness's testimony at first and giving my thoughts yeah. like, on each statement. That's why I was camping out by the lake. I mean, I don't see any problems with yeah. with this. Like, makes sense. But that's, but that's all I was But that's all I was on. Okay. Oh, wait. Is there more else? And then I heard that bang and I looked right out to the lake. So, heard the bang, looked straight up the lake. So she's referencing the first shot mm. from the gun. And she looked straight out to the lake with binoculars mm -hmm. that she had because she was gonna look at Gordy. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just started watching that boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of them men hands, and then I heard another gunshot. Okay, so that probably does mean a Gunshot. Yeah. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands and I heard another gunshot. Yeah, they, they guns do that, right? They do like a little like pew. Okay, it's important to know that she heard a bang and now she says gunshot. So I feel I mean, why did she say bang in the first in the first spot and then say Cause like if she, if she knew that it was a gunshot at first, then wouldn't she have just said gunshot gunshot instead of saying a bang and then a gunshot? Mm. I was looking right at it from the boat the whole time. Cross my heart and hope to fry. Uh, Lada, it's called hope to die. <laughs> hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. All right. What do you mean, objection? The witness's testimony is unchanged from before. No, it is quite a bit different. Yeah. The words are definitely different. Yeah, the, the words are there. <laughs> Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no bearing on this case. There is no need to waste more of our time with another pointless cross-examination. Um. I claim the defense is right to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Von Karma's up to something, I know it. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her because why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross examination. I didn't see a contradiction for sure, besides like the point, the like kind of point that I was making around like the bangs. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna press her further on. Yeah. On everything. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. Huh? That would be a first. Haha! <laughs> Very funny, dickheads. You understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Oh, shit, really? If there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. Uh-oh. Is there really a limit on cross-examinations? You might want to revising... say it real quick. <laughs> yeah, if she keeps revising your testimony. Yeah, I think I think this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last testimony. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Understood? Yeah, Your Honor! All right. Okay. Not a research student at a university. Okay. <laughs> so, then what matter of person are you? It's either gonna be like an objection or she's gonna be like, I'll get into that. I'm not sure I'm half, what? I fashionly enough to be called a matter of you, of anything. It's like when I call myself a mass. <laughs> An investigative, Photographer? Yep. You get your photo and I sell it to the press. That's what kind of business. You saved, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was taking photos from my sister's graduation last year. And then guess what? What? There was a, a UFO just... Uh, what? A UFO. A UFO just hanging in the sky. A UFO? You know, an unidentified flying object. UFO! <laughs> That's what I... Had some real have revelation. I knew I could become an investigative photographer. I, I see. Kind of a shaky bias for a career. Imagine what scoop it would have been to get a picture of that monster. Is Gordy really all that newsworthy? Heck yeah! Even when he had him up on the TV. I'm not sure though. That appearing on the local news rumor of the month schemes qualified. Oh, segments qualified. Last month's segment was Bigfoot sighting on Acorn Hill, I believe. Hey! They also had a picture of him in the newspaper for real. Mr. Wright, this is one fight I do not believe you can win. Yeah. Let's keep moving, shall we? Yes, Your Honor. 
That's why I went camping out by the lake. I don't, I don't know what she would... So why did you put the automatic sensor on your camera? I don't know if it was really going to give us much information off of this one, but... Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, borrowed it from the university professor. He analyzes every sound and picks up, and then when it comes, a bang! It shoots a shot. Yep. So, how many pictures were taken so far? Oh. The only time that camera was triggered was last night. Hmm. But, that's all that I was, I was hiding. I think it's time you told us why you felt like you had to hide that true purpose from the lake. Hey, if we're gone out to what I was up to, the lake would be swarmed with competitors. Competitors? Yeah, second-rate scooter bugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, uh, uh, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Well, actually... Mr. Wright, I will not have you asking questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Von Karma. I know you told her to keep quiet. When I heard the bang, I looked straight at the lake. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. Yeah, that's the point I was making, like, she said yeah. bang, but, uh... But I guess maybe she put the connection when she saw, like, the flash that it was a gunshot the second time. It was a lot sharper of a sound than I would ever expected. You're telling me she's from the sound she's never heard a gunshot before? Yeah, what I'm curious <laughs> about, though, is that, like, so uh, I mentioned before that she said bang and then gunshot, and now mm -hmm. she's saying, like, I never heard a, a gunshot before, but she said she heard a gunshot. I guess when you... I don't know. I don't know, man. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat at the lake the whole time. There wasn't much else to look at. Yep. I don't know. If she heard a bang, wouldn't she thought Gordy would be out there? I kind of doubt that she'd waste any time looking at a boat. That is a very fair point. Ah. Uh, what? What did I do now? What are you giving me that look for? If I'm feeling suspicious, maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your hush puppies, Pops. I'm getting there. Oh, hush puppies sound really good right now. I saw a flash in the man's hands, and I heard a gun and gunshot. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat that whole time? Huh? What? You just thinking maybe that he's just shot for some other place? I don't think so, nope. The lake was smooth as glass, and no one was on that shore neither. Hmm. Wait, she's. So she's saying her eyes were on the boat the entire time. Then before she was saying she scanned the entire area. Then hey, she was looking for Morty. Then she was looking at the. Sh then she noticed that there was no one on the shore. Her eyes can't be in like fifty places at once yeah. here. <laughs> I better find some sort of contradiction to this testimony. I won't be able to beat Von Kamra any other way. There has to be something. Is that the entire thing? Oh, okay. Well. Okay. But why did the Phoenix give you a clue? <laughs> yeah. That's all I was hiding when I heard the bang, so you could the this lake. One? I think, I it think was... it's the second one. We are good. One more? There wasn't much to look at, so I watched the boat the entire time. Uh. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the entire time. <laughs> what well, you just testified earlier that she's looking for Gordy and everything. Yeah. So would it be would it be this? Or Press it. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? What's with you? Of course I was looking at it. I was the only thing out there. Any normal person would have been looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you're far from normal. <laughs> you get fucked. Yeah, you get fucked. <laughs> what? Y'all want to step over there and say that? You were camping at the lake to take photos of Cordy. Think about it. What would you do if you, if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. Uh, that's all I was saying, like, it, it doesn't make sense that, like, she she had her eyes glued on the boat, 
but she was also noticing like everything else that was around. Yeah. You wouldn't give that boat a second thought. Also, you remember when we talked to her the first time? She was like, oh, well, yeah, I, maybe I guess I did see something. Like, she had no, she had nothing to say to us. <laughs> yeah. Order, continue, Mr. Wright. You testify that you are watching the boat through binoculars. However, you don't need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. Well? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it, I did sort of take my binoculars and kind of scan the lake a bit. So she was she was telling the truth that she was scanning the lake, not just staring at the yeah. at the boat. I mean, Gordy might have been out there and, and all. Miss Hart, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? Uh, sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbing, really. I was just, I really thought, you know, I could have been a witness to murder and all. I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching that boat until now. This, this is totally uncalled for. But hey, you got that photograph. I got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting at who in this. Right, right. That's why I took this photo and... Wait. Witness, that's enough. You've had a long day. Shut your pie hole. Shut my what? What was she going to say? You took the photograph and... What? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you really can't tell from the photo who was shooting. That's why she said she was going to enlarge the photo. She said it'll drop the quality of might, but it should tell us, let us see who's who. She's enlarging that photo. Why won't Von Karma let, let her show it? I've got a huge hunch. And I got a huge, never mind. I, I bet that Lart and Spurgar showed something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it would be meant prison for Edgeworth, I'm sure. What should I do? Hmm. I kind of want to make her show it. Yeah, we gotta see for, what it is. For, for no other reason than I'm purely curious. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it does show it is evidence. <laughs> Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Y yeah, that, I did. Why hasn't that enlargement not been presented to this courtroom? B because it does not exist. B what are y'all talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in this courtroom in the fourth place. You old fool. Damn. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? Er, um... Miss Hart. Show the photograph to the court. Show us the enlargement. The prosecution objects to the submission of this evidence. Wait. Objection denied. <laughs> Objection denied. The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is! Alright, what does it look like? That doesn't fucking show anything! Oh my god! Well, it does show that what she saw as a flash and whatnot was actually the pistol. But bro, they but, don't but got what hair! <laughs> what I'm curious about... Yeah, that, that looks like that same gun. Yeah. There's Prince from Red... Hmm, we still cannot see who is firing Yeah, this. what the fuck? It could be the defendant, or maybe it's not. Regardless, I'll accept this as evidence. Taken approximately at 12.25 at 12.15 a.m. Okay, it's the same as the other one. Yeah. It's just enlarged. Happy now, Mr. Wright. Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, you got the enlargement. Ah, oh, I got it. <laughs> and little good it has done any of us. How about you shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, so it just re- Wait, did it repl Yeah, it replaced the old one. Yeah. Because why we need the far away one, we've got the closer one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get any details from this that I can. Well, what do you notice? Um... I mean, I don't really, I don't really know what I noticed besides the fact that, like, he's left-handed. Yeah, he is holding it with the left hand. Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna come up, because not many people are left-handed. 
I haven't seen right. Oh, you're right. I haven't no. seen right, like write anything. Yeah. Or not right. Uh, Edgeworth write anything. Yeah. But um, but yeah, he's holding it with his left hand, and and so that means he's a lefty. Yeah. Which is odd. I wonder. I wonder it's if that'll fucking come up. weird. Weird for being left-handed. Yeah. All right, go back. That, that's the only thing I can really notice. Hmm. And little good it has done any of us. That's why I requested she not show it. Hmm. I suppose this means that the cross-examination is over, obviously. Well. Then I would like to close the cross-examination of Miss Lotta Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. I wouldn't call that a decisive witness. <laughs> what else could possibly be required? Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. Wait, that's not supposed to be like this? There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Uh... Well, okay, if I'm trying- if I want to object to this enlargement, then I need to have, like, a following statement about why this enlargement is, like, uh, it's, like, definitive evidence to prove that Edgeworth was not the one that did it, mm -hmm. which the only thing I can think about is the fact that- Here, look the at the court- look at the evidence that you have. That's over map. Oh my gosh, it says it's from his right hand. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. But does that object to the enlargement or show other evidence? What do you what do you think? Do you think it's I think it's object to the evidence because because yeah. some our evidence contradicts that one. Yeah. Your Honor? There is something dis decisively strange about this enlargement. What well, what might that be? Don't, don't you have fucking eyes? <laughs> Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'll show the judge what is strange about this photo. Is this the one where you do the crit? Yep. Where is her? Oh, I was hitting A. And it said press Y. <laughs> oh. Here, Your Honor. The shooter? I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter is strange? Look at the hand, the, look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. Hand. The hand. <laughs> <laughs> that hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man's. Oh, wait. This man's left hand does what? Let me show you. I'll show you the evidence that the left hand contradicts. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding the pistol in his left hand. However, the prints from the murder weapon were from Edward's right hand. Ergo. The man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgeworth. You did it. And it only took you throwing the controller at the, at the start of this. <laughs> I think I've never been so stressed. Yeah, can't wait to try to edit this shit down. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing I'm not the YouTuber. Thanks. <laughs> Now that everyone in the courtroom has quieted down, it's your fault. Fuck you! I said I was sorry. I didn't know it was not gonna. I... It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I mean, how was I supposed to know as well that I was supposed to like? I press normally press. I normally press on everything, but I was like, I was like, I've gotten smart enough that I don't need to press things that don't seem relevant. Yeah, like I was in my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would like to reconvene the court of law, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. You have given us definitive proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgeworth who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. Edgeworth didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Not my problem, Your Honor. Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people on the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? <laughs> Larry! <gasps> I mean, the, I mean, we I, I had think, a theory that he killed I think, himself, right? I kind of want to go with this because this was my like head. Yeah. But I, I wonder if he's just gonna say, "That's fucking stupid." <laughs> yeah, he, he's just gonna be like, "But that photo." Hmm. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Because I like this this theory. This is like my headcanon. But, uh, <laughs> it's your headcanon for but, a um, murder. But, like, logically. I mean, with, the with other that two photo, options are stupid. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Larry doing it. Miss Hart doing it. I mean, she was. Miss Hart was the one taking the. the the picture. The, the photo, yeah. so I don't I don't think it's her. Low key. <laughs> it would be funny if Larry was it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna say the victim himself. Even if this like docks some points off. Yeah. Uh I don't care because I like this because this was my this was like my original thought. Yeah. The only exclamation remains. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. <laughs> order, order. So you are saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, your honor. I can think of no other exclamation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. <laughs> I'm so very, very sorry, Mr. Wright. But suicide is out of the question. But what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which she was shot. Oh shit, like gunpowder? The distance? The victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. How big is a meter? <laughs> a that's, meter? That's, like, that's three feet! <laughs> I was about to say, that's like three feet. Okay, that's not so bad. So if his arm was... There's no way you can point your arm three feet away from yeah, you. Yeah, I don't think uh, our arms... Unless you're like eight feet tall. Yeah, I guess you're right. There is no way it could have been a suicide. Yeah, there are JoJo characters, they can't do that. Order, order. Mr. Von Karma, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of your data? Of course. I had already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. Time of death sometimes has been a shot from approximately one meter away. Hmm. I see. Very well. Allow me to state my opinion. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgeworth. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgeworth. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings to this trial for the day. Thank God. <laughs> the court orders the defense and the prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. That is all. This court is adjourned. Yeah, we did it! I'm gonna have to edit this middle bit so much! Oh my gosh. I think we spent 20 minutes at least just going through Lada's and being like, What the fuck is the answer? Yeah. Phew, that was a close one! Oh, you... Uh, Ed 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 Edgeworth, we only got you convicted once. <laughs> Actually, we got you convicted like three times, technically, before you reset. Yeah, no, 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 the, the, those universes... Don't they, exist. They, they just ended as soon as we... Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we loaded the, the save again. Hey? Don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on that lake anyway? It was a flash flood warning. <laughs> if he didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? Don't give me that look. I did not kill him. I was just kidding around! <laughs> <laughs> look, I'm going to go check on Maya. Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. What? Tell, tell her to watch what she says in court. What? That's all. Would it kill you to just state how you really feel with a thanks, Edgeworth? <laughs> oh, thank God. Is that, is that too big a new Fuck. I relinquished the transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some ammunition in the trial tomorrow. Of course, you didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood out was the bang that she heard. I heard two sounds like a gunshot. So that's probably gonna come up when they talk about the pistol. Yeah, because the pistol was shot three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah see, and, you're and, getting and it! And he was only shot Yay! once. Yay! We're doing it. Phoenix Wright style. <laughs> and that is very fucking badly. All I'm gonna say... You wanted to kill yourself. <laughs> I think it was not a very good design decision for the point of that to, to, for them to say you have to find a glaring contradiction in any of this and you, you didn't even have to you find have to it press the entire thing and not find the contradiction yeah like i think that that's just bad game design which they probably fixed in the other games because it's an old ass game yeah this was made in 2001 yeah i mean so, this is a re so I, I i thought this would be a lot better 
Yeah, but I mean, they probably fixed problems like that and made his story a little bit better in the yeah or like the trust like, me g- the gameplay loop a little bit better. Yeah. But um, I mean they they do stuff in the second game. They introduce a new game uh, gimmick and everything, and then the third one, everyone loves the third game. I, I swear, in one of them, I thought you could like actually like walk around. You're thinking about the Miles investigations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one That one solely is you walking around investigating, and then at the end of it you find out who the killer is. Yeah, because I, I, remember, I remember seeing that. Yeah. But anyways, uh, I apologize for getting a little, a little frustrated. It was killing me to be completely wrong on every single thing that I could potentially think of. Yeah. <laughs> like... I'm one of those people that hates being wrong. Yeah. Also, you probably you guys won't even see it, but we probably spent ten minutes at Lada's testimony, just spamming and clicking random shit. So. Yeah. I will try to find a good point to. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all up to her editing. Yeah, you, it's probably gonna be you, pulling on my phone, looking at what the right answer was, and going, "Oh my god, really?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, yeah. I mean, you might not even see me bitch and moan. Who, uh, who knows? Yeah. But um, it's all up to her discretion. I'll let her leave it in if she wants. Yeah. Okay. Dude, this is an hour and 30 minutes. You really expect me to leave all that footage in? <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. In the next one, uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to the bottom of this. Yeah, and, we get to investigate it again. And see who, uh, who actually had a uh, meter-long arm and, and was able to shoot themselves like that. <laah> That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, till next time. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye.